Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve the first part of question number 6. There are two parts in this question and the second part we will solve in the next video. Here it is given that diagonal AC of a parallelogram ABCD bisects angle A. We have to show that that it also bisects angle C. Now what does that mean? This A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. This is given to you and what is a parallelogram? Parallelogram is basically a four-sided closed figure in which its opposite sides are parallel and equal means this A, B is equal to this D, C and A, B is parallel to D, C. And similarly, this side must also be parallel to this side and this side must be equal to this side. So this is a parallelogram. It is given that this AC diagonal bisects angle A. Bisecting means dividing this angle into two equal parts. Means if this is a complete angle and if this is bisected means this angle which is equal to this angle. This angle must be equal to this angle. Means if this is equal to 40 degree this must also be equal to 40 degree means if this complete angle is of 80 degree bisecting means this must be divided into two equal parts that is 40 degree and 40 degree you have to prove that it also bisects angle C means you also you have to prove that this angle and this angle are also equal now how to do that this DC and AB are parallel lines so DC and AB are parallel line and AC is a transversal. This AC is a transversal. So this angle must be equal to this angle. These are alternate angles. So obviously forming Z. So here it is. Uh, this is Z. This one. Okay. So obviously the angle inside this Z must be equal. These are known as alternate angles. So this must also be equal to. 40 degree because this is 40 degree so this must also be equal to 40 degree these values I have assumed to make it understand very easily in uh, 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 when you are solving the question you don't have to assume these values you have to write these angles not 40 degree okay uh, I, I'll show you how to write but first of all like understand how this is work, uh, how this will work out this is 40, so this is also 40. Okay, now similarly, this side is parallel to this side, and this is a transversal. So this is the Z forming here, from here, and this one. Okay, so this Z, the angle inside this Z must also be equal. So this angle must be equal to this angle. So if this is 40 degree, this must also be equal to 40 degree. So this is how you can prove that this diagonal also bisect these two angles sorry this angle and these two angles are equal so now how to write these dc is parallel to ab therefore angle this angle must be equal to this angle and this angle is cab so angle cab must be equal to angle a C B. These are alternate angles. Okay. Similarly, A D is parallel to B C. Uh, therefore, now this line is parallel to this line. So obviously, the Z forming here inside. These, uh, inside this Z the angle must be equal so this angle must be equal to this angle and this is angle BAC will be equal to angle ACB this is again alternate angle so this is our first equation this is our second equation and it is given to us that AC bisects angle A means if this is 
a bisector of this angle so of this angle dac which is this angle must be equal to angle cab which is this angle so angle dac will be equal to angle cab this is given to you so this is our third equation now combining all three equations we can confirm that this line also bisect this one because here these two angles are equal which is these two angles are equal and here in this second equation angle a a c is equal to uh, a d sorry the, this should be d a c it should be angle d a c it should be angle d a c equals to a c b d a c equals to a c b these angles are equal and by all three equations by equation first second and third we can confirm that ac bisects angle c so this is how you can prove this first part i hope you have understood how to solve this in the next video we will solve the second part of the same question thank you